24. More life. Yeah. Time for me to unleash. I'm becoming a beast. Following what I do. Can't believe what I see. People acting a fool. Trying to come and play me. So I have my personal choices monitor for the Series X. Thanks by buying the background. The Asus VG27WQ. Thank God I got that right first time. Reason being, I went for a 1440p monitor that could do 144Hz. Of course, I only need 120Hz for the Series X, because the Series S doesn't do 144 or any of that stuff, but it's one I needed. Didn't go for 4K60, didn't go for 4K 120, or anything less. Let's talk about my first impressions of it. Quick specs, it's a 27 inch monitor, 1440p as I said. I didn't opt for 4K, because if I would've, I would've had to go for 4K 60 hertz, and I wanted the extra hertz, 120 would be beautiful for the frame rate, refresh rate, everything, and I, you know, I'm not going to get 4K 120. I know it's met many people to get that. It also supports HDR, it's got Display HDR 400 certification, which it's not really ideal for HDR. You really want the higher, like, 1000 nits if you can get that. I think 600, 800 nits is probably better, but this is only 400, but compared to what I came from, it's still an improvement. HDR really wasn't the main selling point. The only things I wanted was the 40 and 40p, 120 hertz plus. I didn't look for HDR, but it came bundled with this one, and I thought, you know what, why not? I'll try it out, I'll see what it's like. It's a nice improvement in some things, but realistic, if you're after HDR, you don't go for this monitor. You, you go for the other things for this monitor. As for the very, very specific details of this monitor, I know there's like ELMB, etc., and many things, this does include it. I don't want to go into that stuff. I know I will miss out many key features, so I'm just going to miss them out intentionally. There's a lot of other people who review it very in depth for monitors. I know, I don't know if it's called ratings. I don't actually know how you say the, the website. I'm going to say ratings.com. It makes sense. Um, they do reviews. I don't think they have one on this yet, but if they do, check it out. They, they're the ones for it for me. Okay, so just like a try and show the difference between 120 FPS and 60 FPS. I made a sort of demonstration, but with YouTube, it's very hard as it's capped at 60 FPS. So I'm going to show you two clips, both of them on my iPhone. One at 120 FPS to slow mo, but just not slow mo, it's in normal speed. One at 60 FPS, and then I'm going to slow them both down by 50%. So it's effectively 60 frames versus 30 in the sense of YouTube knowing it, but you will see the difference between the smoothness of it at 50% speed. Trying to come and play me, I ain't working for you. I've been moving along, always got to stay true. Working out of my home, got the game in my hand. Always stick to my plan, I don't have an escape. Do the shit for my fans, do the shit for my fam. Putting the food on their plate, speaking of family. I do a lot for the people who keep me from going the same. All of this shit on the internet, now what it looked to be, so I be staying away. Yeah, I put my mom in the foreign. Then I went back to recording. Soon I'll be finally torn. Travel the world, I'm exploring. Meeting the people who show love. Feel like I'm finally grown up. I've been avoiding the shit that you people be posting, just hoping to blow up. Lately, I'm feeling so restless. Trading my sleep for my goals. And lately, I'm acting so reckless. Spending my money on clothes. Buying that Gucci don't make me feel any more better than shopping at Kohl's. Okay, enough is enough. Let's go into thoughts. Let's talk about gaming first. So at the time of filming this, I've only played PC games at high refresh rates, including Rocket League, Valorant, Minecraft even. I haven't actually been able to play anything on my Series X because Cold War, as I'm filming this, isn't out, but it is for you currently. So I will have played that and I'll make videos on that soon to see what it's like. But playing at high refresh rates, 144, 120 is beautiful. And I just love the smoothness of it. I haven't ever experienced it before and it was I knew it was the better choice. I love how I can just turn around and it just looks so instant. I feel feels speedier, but then I know it's not speedier. You know the standard stuff, you know how much better it is. If you don't, it just feels faster even though nothing's going any quicker, because your eyes are getting updated more, so simple as that. It's really nice. Any high refresh rate monitor that's 144, 120 hertz will do this. This is not revolutionary for this monitor, but it does it exactly how it should do it. Well, the resolution jump is obviously just good from my old 1080p monitors to now this beautiful 1440p one. It looks crisp as a 1440p should do. It's fine at 27 inch. I think that's a very, very nice size for it. You can probably still go bigger. To test it out a few times in games, it's just I dropped it to 1080p. And this is where you can tell this is a sweet spot for 1440p and 1080p. This is the, like, the upper limit, probably just over the limit of you shouldn't really go much bigger of 1080p displays. At this size, it starts to look a little bit fuzzy. It's not unplayable in games at all. Like I play Rocket League and that, any any game at all. It's playable completely fine, but if you can have 1440p at the same time and you switch between them to back-to-back -to -back test them, you can definitely 
tail and you will always pick 4040p if you can. In general for just colors wise and how it actually looks in game, it just looks incredible. The brightness, despite the fact it's not, you know, high, it's only 400 nits, it's actually really, really nice. It goes quite bright for me anyway, relative to what I've seen. Maybe too vibrant for some people, but for me it's perfect. I guess I just like vibrant colors a lot. In fact, I haven't changed a single setting on this monitor at all. I've tweaked a couple things literally yesterday as I'm filming this when the Series X came just to tweak it a tiny bit because it was a little bit off. As for desktop use, it's more of the same story pretty much. 14, 40p and 144 hertz are brilliant. The, the refresh rate, I really just can't give up. Even with just the general use of pretty much anything in Windows 10, animations are popping up, let's say the notification center, the start menu, scrolling on any single website, everything just looks brilliant. And obviously, like I say again, this is not just this monitor that does it, but this one does live up to what other 144 hertz monitors should actually do. There is like a slight blur effect. I only really notice it in very very small circumstances for example when I move the cursor around I can sort of see it but I think that's just my eyes looking at the refresh rate. I don't think it's any problem or anything with this monitor maybe you can change that with some settings but again I don't want to like act as if it's this when it isn't this and it clearly is something else so I'll just say that and leave it up to you to defer what that actually is. The resolution again still solid on this monitor side by side with my other monitors it's definitely a much improvement I watch everything obviously you'd guess on that monitor. I wonder what 4k would have looked like at this size because I've never experienced that would it have been the same feeling of a jump and then would I have switched to 1440p and not noticed it I don't know, but if you're thinking between the two and you're thinking I want to get this monitor with higher refresh rate or 4K with 60, I don't know if there'd be that much of a difference between them because, you know, the higher you go, a lot of diminishing returns, etc, etc, but it's definitely a damn sight better than 1080p flat out. Speaking of 1080p, again, the same story, kind of looks a bit fuzzy, we're definitely reaching the upper limit of content here. Videos and stuff I'm watching, I don't notice it as much in videos, I've noticed it more in games that I've been playing instead. I guess the YouTube compression with videos etc doesn't make it that bad for me maybe, but yeah. Gaming is where I've noticed it more, but desktop use, anything 1080p, anything not 1440p is completely fine really. It's usable, don't worry about it. If you want to nitpick, then yes, it's starting to really reach that limit. You might want to go a bit smaller if you're going for 1080. HDR content with the little amount I've tested of it is pretty okay. I don't want to big it up too much and say it as it's a main selling point feature because it really isn't. It looks better than normal in some circumstances, but other circumstances, example, Windows, I've turned it off to straight on the dashboard and I don't notice an immediate difference to be like, this one's better. I notice a difference. Wouldn't say one is definitely better than the other. I'd say it's take it or leave it on Windows. Some videos though, yes, it helps and it just looks a nice bit better. Obviously anything SDR, completely fine. I'd say if you're not interested in HDR, just leave it off, don't mess with it. If you want to try it on a couple times, do so, but it's in the background amongst the other features. So yeah, so far, I'm very happy with this monitor. I've had it for just under a month, probably like three weeks or so. I've only had it with a Series X for literally a day, played nothing at high refresh rate on it. I've only played 60 hertz, played 45p gameplay, looks brilliant as well. I can add that to the list. I didn't actually have that in the script when I wrote this because this is so far from before, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I believe it costs 350 around 330 pounds at the time I bought it. Hopefully it's around that same price now. If it's not, I'll put it in the description. I'll put a link in the description actually so you can see it yourself. But for a 1440p, 144 hertz display, also that does 120 hertz. In my opinion, it looks brilliant and it's definitely one of the best balances for the next gen consoles. You don't have to go to 4K, you don't have to find the money for 120 hertz and you don't have to stick at 1080 just to get some high refresh rate. Perfect balance for me. One more tiny pet peeve that I have, although I really think it's only applicable if you have multiple sources into this, which is that there is no remote. It doesn't include one at this price. I saw ones that were slightly more expensive that didn't have some features I was after, etc. that did. And I envy not picking it, well not picking it just for the remote, but I envy that this one doesn't have a remote. Switching between sources or changing settings, there is a button on the back which is quite nice, you can use it to go up and down, it's very nice indeed, but to go back and reach for it every single time and not have a remote, I wish it had one, I really wish it had one. So that might be annoying for a lot of people, especially if you have, let's say, a con two consoles pudding or something else, another source. I've lived with it so far, it's not really a deal breaker, but could be for someone else, so I'll mention it. On that, that's it for now. I'll probably come back and check in with you with this monitor in, I'm not sure how long, but in a little bit more time so I have some more definite experience of it, especially with some Series X games that are high refresh rate as well. That'll be great. And maybe I'll try out some HDR stuff because in my opinion, HDR is just baffling. It's the only, like, I get everything resolution, everything high refresh rate, and every other thing in between, but HDR gets baffling in practice. But I'll come up with that. There is another video coming out today as well to set up some high refresh rate stuff on your Series X, which I'm very good finally to prove that this monitor 
it works completely fine with the Series X and any other things at high refresh rate. I am very happy to make a video on this as well, explaining all the display stuff because there's been a lot of confusion. There was a lot for me when I was picking which one I wanted to buy and then when I bought it, I was still more confused and thinking, okay, maybe it won't work. That will be coming in, I think, a week or so. I'll catch you all in the next one later today if you need the help with that or in a couple of days. That's it.